5. Sharpen your pencil. The idiom, sharpen your pencil, is an expression that is commonly used in English. It is a metaphorical phrase that means to prepare yourself mentally, to get ready for a task or challenge, or to focus and concentrate on something. It suggests the need to be alert, attentive, and ready to put in effort or work. Here are a few examples to illustrate the usage of this idiom. 1. Example in a classroom setting. Teacher. All right, class, we have a pop quiz today. So, sharpen your pencils and get ready. In this example, the teacher is using the idiom to tell the students to prepare themselves mentally and physically by sharpening their pencils, indicating that they need to be fully focused and ready for the quiz. 2. Example in a work environment. Manager. We have an important meeting with the client tomorrow. Make sure to sharpen your pencils and come prepared with all the necessary information. In this case, the manager is using the idiom to urge the employees to be mentally prepared and well informed for the meeting. It implies that they should be ready to actively participate and contribute to the discussion. 3. Example in a sports context. Coach, we have a tough game ahead of us, so I want you all to sharpen your pencils and give it your best on the field. Here, the coach is using the idiom to motivate the team and encourage them to focus and concentrate on the game. It signifies the need to be mentally prepared and give their maximum effort. 4. Example in a personal context. Friend, you have an important presentation tomorrow. Make sure to sharpen your pencil and practice your speech. In this example, the friend is using the idiom to advise the person to prepare mentally and rehearse their presentation. It implies the need to be well prepared and confident in delivering the speech. Overall, the idiom, sharpen your pencil, is a figurative expression that suggests the need to mentally prepare, concentrate, and be ready for a task or challenge. It is often used in various contexts, such as in classrooms, workplaces, sports, and personal situations. 4. Go through a rough patch. The idiom, go through a rough patch, is used to describe a period of difficulty or hardship in someone's life. It implies that the person is going through a challenging time and is facing various problems or obstacles. This idiom is often used to describe temporary difficulties rather than long-term or permanent ones. Here are a few examples to help you understand the usage of this idiom. 1. Example, after losing his job, John went through a rough patch. He struggled to find another job and had to cut down on his expenses. Explanation. In this example, John experienced a period of difficulty after losing his job. He faced challenges in finding a new job and had to make adjustments to his lifestyle due to financial constraints. 2. Example. Sarah and Mark's relationship has been going through a rough patch lately. They have been arguing a lot and finding it hard to communicate. Explanation. In this example, Sarah and Mark are experiencing a difficult phase in their relationship. They are facing conflicts and struggling to maintain effective communication. 3. Example. The company went through a rough patch when their main competitor launched a cheaper alternative. They had to come up with new strategies to regain their market share. Explanation. In this example, the company faced a period of difficulty when their competitor introduced a more affordable product. They had to adapt and develop new strategies to compete and regain their position in the market. 4. Example. After the accident, Tom went through a rough patch. He had to undergo surgery and rehabilitation before he could resume his normal activities. Explanation. 
In this example, Tom experienced a difficult period following an accident. He had to undergo medical procedures and rehabilitation to recover and get back to his regular routine. Overall, the idiom, go through a rough patch, is used to describe temporary difficulties or hardships that someone may encounter in their life. It emphasizes the challenging nature of the situation and implies that it is not a permanent state. 3. Going to hell in a handbasket. The idiom, going to hell in a handbasket, is a colorful expression used to describe a situation or a person's behavior rapidly deteriorating or getting worse in a dramatic and unstoppable manner. It suggests that things are heading towards disaster or chaos, and there is little hope of improvement. The origins of this idiom are uncertain but it is believed to have originated in the United States in the mid-19th century. The phrase, going to hell, refers to a situation becoming irreparably bad, and, in a handbasket, is a figurative way of suggesting that the decline is happening quickly and in an uncontrollable manner. Here are some examples to help you understand the usage of this idiom. One. The company's financial mismanagement has caused it to go to hell in a handbasket. They are losing clients, laying off employees, and struggling to pay their debts. 2. Ever since the new manager took over, the office morale has been going to hell in a handbasket. People are constantly arguing, productivity has dropped, and there's a general feeling of discontent. 3. The once peaceful neighborhood has been going to hell in a handbasket ever since the construction of a noisy factory nearby. Residents are complaining about the pollution, traffic, and constant noise. 4. The politician's career has been going to hell in a handbasket after he was caught in a corruption scandal. His reputation has been tarnished, and his supporters are abandoning him. Five. The team's performance on the field has been going to hell in a handbasket. They have lost their last five games, and their lack of coordination is evident. In all these examples, the idiom, going to hell in a handbasket, is used to emphasize the rapid and irreversible decline of a situation or a person's circumstances. It conveys a sense of helplessness and a lack of control over the deteriorating state of affairs. 2. Every picture tells a story. The idiom, every picture tells a story, means that a single image can convey a whole narrative or message. It suggests that there is a deeper meaning or story behind what we see in a picture or image. This idiom is often used to emphasize the power of visual storytelling and how images can evoke emotions, memories, or provoke thoughts. It implies that there is more to a picture than what meets the eye, and that we can interpret and understand the story behind it. Here are a few examples to illustrate the usage of this idiom. 1. Imagine you are looking at a photograph of a young girl sitting alone on a swing, with a sad expression on her face. You might say, every picture tells a story and this one seems to convey a sense of loneliness and longing. 2. Suppose you come across a painting of a stormy sea with a ship struggling to stay afloat. You could say, every picture tells a story, and in this painting, the artist has captured the intense battle between man and nature. 3. Consider a photograph of an elderly couple holding hands and smiling at each other. You might remark, Every picture tells a story, and this one tells a beautiful tale of love, companionship, and a lifetime of shared memories. 4. Let's say you see a graffiti artwork on a wall depicting a protest scene with people holding signs and marching together. You could comment, every picture tells a story, and this graffiti piece is a powerful representation of the fight for social justice and equality. 
In each of these examples, the idiom, every picture tells a story, is used to highlight the idea that a picture or image can convey a deeper meaning or narrative beyond what is immediately visible. It encourages us to analyze and interpret the story behind the visual representation. 1. Easy does it. The idiom, easy does it, is a common expression used to advise someone to proceed slowly, carefully, or in a gentle manner. It is often used in situations where caution, moderation, or patience is required to avoid any potential problems or mishaps. The phrase can be broken down into two parts, easy, and does it. Easy means to take things calmly or without exerting too much effort. Does it implies performing an action or task. When combined, the idiom suggests that one should approach a situation with caution and not rush into it. Here are a few examples to help illustrate the usage of this idiom. 1. Imagine you are moving a delicate piece of furniture. Your friend might say, easy does it, as a reminder to handle the item gently and not rush, avoiding any potential damage. 2. Let's say you are pouring a hot beverage into a cup. As you get close to filling it to the brim, someone might caution you by saying, easy does it, to prevent any spillage or burns. 3. Suppose you are giving instructions to a new employee who is learning a complex task. You might advise them, take it slowly and easy does it. It's better to understand each step thoroughly than to rush and make mistakes. 4. If someone is recovering from an injury or illness and returning to physical activities, their doctor might advise them to take it easy, or easy does it, to prevent further harm. In all these examples, the idiom easy does it is used to encourage caution, patience, and a gentle approach to prevent any negative consequences. It serves as a reminder to proceed slowly and carefully, ensuring a successful outcome without rushing or exerting too much effort. Did you like the video? If yes, give us a thumbs up. This will help the channel as well as others to find it. We add multiple videos daily. Subscribe, so you won't miss any.